it's Sunday, I have no makeup on, I have no hair in and I'm wearing jogging bottoms so I'm not going to show you my face on this video but I wanted to come on really quickly just to show you how I cut the lace on my Jenny wig from Uni Wigs. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. As you can see the lace only goes down to here and then across to here and these little thick bits show you where it ends so it's not from ear to ear um, and you probably can't see because I've got it on the mannequin but the lace comes down to here so I use I will show you I've got the box here sanguine I got these off Amazon these are hold on I'm trying to do this with one hand professional hairdressing scissors but they weren't expensive ones they were fairly cheap um, if you're cutting lace you really need sharp scissors and also not ones with like a fat blade you need ones like this that have quite a thin blade so what I'm going to do first and this varies from person to person but what I tend to do is cut the lace about centimetre or so away from the hairs and then I go back in for a second cut to do a much more sort of closer detailed um, job so I'm going to do that first so just cut this much lace off and literally all I did was go along like that the other thing I should have said at the beginning of the video was I've used three different clips just to pull all the hair back so that when you are cutting the lace you're not actually cutting the hairs so at the moment I've cut this in a straight line but as I get closer you can see because this is a darker darker root you can see each little blob of knot now I've cut this straight but what I don't have to, I'll have to cut this much closer to get rid of this tab you kind of want to do like a little tiny zigzag to um, make the hairline look more natural because if you just have a straight line you're just going to see on your skin the straight line of lace so it's just a case of getting as close as you can and zigzagging so I've taken the wig off the wig stand for this part because I find it easier to hold it like this I'm going to say I'm going to leave this tab until the end and then what I'm going to do is just do little ziggy zags all the way across and then I'm going to sort of there's quite a lot of excess here so I'm going to this is not an exact science um, and I can already see bits where I need to get closer but it's just about trying to get as close to the hairs as possible without actually cutting the hairs themselves and just making sure that it's not a straight line so despite the fact I said I wouldn't come on camera, now that I've cut the lace, I felt I sh should show you. So excuse my face. Um, so I've cut as close as I can, um, which I think, oh God, look at my wrinkles. Now, the thing that I've had a slight issue with is those little tabs that I showed you earlier. Um, I cut this one completely off. And now the lace is lifting. So on this side, I haven't cut it completely off because it's attached to um, like a, a, a sew, uh, sewed is not the right word, a join that's been sewn together. And obviously if I, want, if I pull my hair back from my face, you can see it. So I think I'm gonna have to go in again and try and cut a bit more off. Um, <sighs> This side, you can't see it. So this here is my bio hair. Um, 
So I mean, I would have this down, so it's not a huge issue for me. But if you wanted to clip this back, you can see where the lace goes onto my hair. Um, I mean, I, I might have a little rejig with where it is sat on my head, but this seemed like a natural, um, you know, comfortable way for it to sit. Um, I also have a, an odd shaped head, so quite often the ear tabs don't sit here where they should. The ear tabs are a bit high, and I find that with most wigs that I wear. So this might not happen. This might not be a problem for you. This is just how it fits me. Um, but I mean, I think the way that I've cut the lace looks quite good. You can see the knots. But I'm sure I've said before that if you have a dark, dark hair, dark root, it's quite off, like it's quite normal with synthetics that you can see the knots. Um, so I'm going to have another play around, and uh, I'll make another video. I also need to just trim. There's a couple of little bits that I want to just trim, and then I might actually wear it out of the house. But despite these issues, I'm still loving the cut and loving the colour. I think at the moment it makes me look a bit washed out, but that's because I am washed out when I've got my eyebrows done, a bit more makeup on, cover up these bags, then I think it will look really nice. See you soon, bye.